Around the world, people are recognizing that their climate is changing. Scientists investigating these changes are working with national and regional governments to help develop policies to help safeguard society from these growing risks. The Climate Change Act places duties on the Scottish public sector to both cut climate emissions and plan and adapt to our future climate. Such a dual approach is necessary not only to address the cause of climate change, excessive greenhouse gas emissions, but also to safeguard society from the impacts of past and future emissions that will continue to affect us for decades to come. One of the most obvious effects of climate change is sea level rise. It is affecting Scotland's coast now, causing more frequent coastal flooding and increasing the extent and rate of coastal erosion. The Scottish Government's Dynamic Coast Project was commissioned to investigate the past and future changes happening across our erodible shores. Researchers from the University of Glasgow have updated this work, adding new surveys and modelling future coastal changes as sea levels continue to rise. We've made 5.5 million calculations under low, medium and high emissions climate scenarios to appreciate our different futures. What is the evidence? Coastal erosion is affecting more of our erodible shore than ever before, with the extent and rate of erosion anticipated to increase under all emissions scenarios due to ongoing sea level rise. Even under a low emissions future, our best case scenario, hundreds of millions of pounds worth of assets, infrastructure, roads, rail and houses will be at risk in the next 30 years. Coastal flooding is also expected to occur much more frequently. So whilst quickly achieving net zero is absolutely essential, so too is adaptation. And this is why the Scottish Government is committed to both net zero policies and, in the meantime, delivering an adaptational programme to help society and infrastructure adapt to a changing climate. Our coastal infrastructure and communities need to be safeguarded. Now we can do this by building resilience and we can develop planning adaptational strategies to reduce the impacts and remove assets out of harm's way to less risky sites. Dynamiccoast.com provides the mapping and the data to allow us to do this quickly and to rise to the challenges that climate change presents. Dynamic Coast allows us to become much more sea level wise. What do we mean by becoming sea level wise? We must plan for these changes and invest in artificial defences and natural defences by working with nature, as well as making space for our coast and our assets to move inland. Whilst the risks are increasing, our ability to monitor and model future risks are also improving. So there's plenty we can do. Governments, businesses and communities are developing policies which navigate these growing risks. In some locations we'll choose to invest in higher sea walls and flood embankments, but for much of the coast it will be more sustainable to work with nature, enhance natural defences and create space to allow assets to be moved out of harm's way. Climate leaders around the world, including those in Scotland, are focusing on dynamic, adaptive pathways to better manage the uncertainty and plan ahead to secure a more sustainable future. By planning for multiple strategies, we can move between them as events unfold. The Scottish Government recognises the challenges facing coastal communities, infrastructure and buildings that are increasingly threatened by climate change. We are encouraging local authorities to prepare coastal change adaptation plans supported by an additional £12 million of investment. We have clear net zero ambitions, complemented by our climate change adaptation programme, which aims to prepare us for the impacts that are already locked in. Dynamic Coast is part of this wider national programme to build climate resilient communities. Thank you.